Hi everyone, it's Nikki from Polka Doodles. Um, I'm just here to give you a little preview of one of our latest collections, which is Lavender Tea. Um, so we're looking here at the CD version. Um, you can also get this on a download as well. Um, and if you download the full collection like this, rather than the bundle, um, this is exactly what you will get. So you will download, you need to unzip the file, extract, make sure you extract those folders, and then you just double click either the autoplay or the .exe file, whichever is there. And it will actually run like this. So you go through a couple of screens, just accepting the terms and conditions. And then this is the main menu screen. So Lavender Tea is part of our um, stamp soup range, which is a new range of polymer stamps for 2016. Um, and the idea behind stamp soup is that I really wanted um, to kind of like help you get a little bit more creative in your crafting. And also to kind of get a bit of that hybrid thing going on. Um, you know, a lot of people have a hang up about CD crafting and digital crafting. But actually, digital um, images open up a massive world to you for your crafting. And they actually, combined with all of your other things like your normal papers and your stamps and your die cutting machines and your scan and cut and your cameo, you know, it just opens up a whole other world and really once you get into digital and you start actually manipulating your images the the world's your oyster where crafting becomes sense because there are no limits to anything you look at everything in a completely different way so this is the main menu so we're going to have a quick snoop and there is actually another collection called lemonade fizz that um, is standalone but it's two collections in the stamp soup range so if you love this one have a look at Lemonade Fizz as well. So if you've never used our CDs before, really easy to use. They're designed for anyone to be able to use them. And you literally just click. And if you see something you want to print, you just literally click print. So if you want to print this image, you click it and it'll open up in your PC. Um, or you, if you're a Mac user, you can still use these programs. But the actual menu that we're seeing here isn't usable on a Mac. So you'll need to actually go into the image folders through your Finder menu. Um, but everything is there and accessible for a Mac user. And obviously, you know, you guys, you can use your preview anyway to do all of this. So you literally just go through. So these are the sections. So we've got tags and frames. We've got papers, um, sentiments, toppers, embellishments, templates, um, blooms. And we've got soup and ingredients. So soup and ingredients, these are actually some of the elements that are actually in the clear polymer stamp set. So you don't have everything from those stamps on here. Um, and you don't have everything, obviously, that's in this collection on the stamps. There's some bits and pieces of both. The idea with the stamps is that you get petals and you actually build up these flowers yourself. So, for instance, on the stamp, you would just get that petal. But by actually stamping them next to each other, you can create this. And then by going round, you can actually create a full flower. So this stamp, uh, this flower here is made up of one petal, which is this, plus another stamp, which creates the center. So they're quite clever and really, really versatile. So the soup part of the disc is to do with the stamp and combinations of things that are on there. And so are these ingredients. So all of these ingredient bits are kind of coming from, or some of them are coming from the stamps as well so these are like really really pretty so lots of frames all just embellishments toppers tags lots of different things we've got templates um, I did another video for the lemonade fizz and I forgot to show you the templates the templates in here are gorgeous so we've got plant pot templates so you can make this lovely 3d plant pot and it'll actually stand up like a proper card You've then got a second um, version of that that's a bit plainer that you can use. We've got this gorgeous 3D lantern. You can make this as big as you want. If you've got an A3 printer, print it A3 and it'll be huge. It comes out really big. Then we've got these lovely teacups. So we've got two or three different teacup templates. This is lovely. This is quite unusual. This is like a folded teacup. So really good for sending through the post. And it's like a little envelope. You've then got a teapot box here. And then we've also given you a couple more options of how to use the teapot as well. Seed packets for a gardener. So I'm going to flick off that there and let me show you. 
so you've got really nice um quite usable so you can do a lot of different things and then we've got tea bags in here as well but again these don't have to be tea bags they can just be envelopes uh little mini envelopes great for parties and things like that so really pretty and hopefully by kind of looking here you can see the color palette so it's this lovely lavender and green um i have to say by calling it lavender there isn't actually any lavender images on here um but that doesn't matter it's about the lavender colors so we've got all these lovely lavenders and really nice soft sort of sage greens really pretty papers absolutely stunning papers on here you've got kind of quite plain ones and then some really nice decorative ones this is one of my favorites so you've got this really rich purple alongside the sort of turquoisey aqua blue and then this lovely sort of um soft green like a pistachio and pet like a pear it's like a pear green i think so really pretty we've then got all the sentiments so you've got some lovely fab sentiments in here good things about the garden and about friendship and just about chilling out i love this one the hum of the bees is the voice of the garden and if you also like this collection and want to go for the lemonade fizz there are some bees on there that will actually coordinate with this and there are bee templates on there as well so um all of the sentiment loads and loads of different sentiments and these are separately but also on sheets then we've got topper sheets so this is where you can start to do whatever you want with these and we've i've tried to take the hard work out of it so everything you see here is in this collection separately so this little blue flower here you've got this blue flower you've got the teapot separately you've got the teacup you know, so all of these elements, all these butterflies and even these little buttons are all on the collection separately so that you can do whatever you want with them. These are actually uh, plain tags as well. So I just open these up to show you. These are so pretty, really quite vintagey. I really love these. Um, I've been using them quite a lot on my samples um, and just really, really nice. I don't often do purples. I don't know why. I just it's not because I don't like purple, I do, I love it. But for some reason, I just, it's something that I never steer towards. I don't, I have no idea why. So um, that was the top sheets. We've also got, did we go in the ingredients? I think so. Got all these separate bits and pieces. Uh, we have the tags and frames. So just to show you, lots of really nice chalkboard effects very good if you're into that folk art which is kind of having a bit of a renaissance at the moment um what else embellishments beautiful butterflies really nice butterflies and then here's all those like little circles get your circle punches out get your dies out you know a lot of these will fit the um tattered lace and the tonic essentials ranges or spellbinders nests you know all of those will fit them and then we've got all these really lovely um sentiments and word art in here take all of these into your electronic cup machines like your um, scan and cut or your cameo silhouette your portrait even your cricket i think but i'm not sure i don't know cricket so um i don't know whether it has, you will be able to because these are pngs uh, or jpeg so you will be able to use them um we've then got all of these lovely flowers these are great for layering fantastic rolled roses these are beautiful when they're actually made up um and um you're gonna love using those they're quite easy to cut out as well some of them are quite difficult but those aren't um so that's kind of a little look around if you've never used a graphics package and it scares you but you want to get more out of your crafting there's even a little link here for one of my videos on how to actually um manipulate your images in microsoft word of all things you don't need any fancy packaging word will do almost everything you ever need as a crafter um so make sure that you you click on that there because there's a lot of information there and they've got loads of hints and tips and lots of other stuff on here as well but make sure you check out the stamps that go with these because they are stunning and if you like this collection you really are going to want to get those stamps because they are so versatile whoops let's ignore that anyway that's me over and out i'll see you soon